Hello, my name is Rafael Seiz Ortiz, and in this technical English video, we will see personal protective equipment. First, we will deal with the concept and the importance of personal protective equipment, and we will explain the eight types of PPE, and we'll give some further information. The idea is to understand the importance of this type of items in technical English and to learn some vocabulary related to the topic and to occupational risks. Personal protective equipment, also called PPE, are products, garment, implements, such as helmets, overalls, and many others, whose aim is to protect the user and the worker against health and safety hazards and risks that can be of low, medium, or high level. There are eight types, and they are very important together with broader health and safety plans at work that include many other aspects to prevent risks and also to enable responsibility and safety at work. The proper use of PPE depend, depends on the situation and the working environment. It also includes a specific type of, of equipment called respiratory protective equipment, RPE. Let's start with the eight types of PPE. The first one is head protection. This type of items helps to prevent harm and risks caused by impact of falling materials, swinging, flying objects, the worker knocking against stationary objects, head bumping on these objects, and also the entanglement of some parts of the head or machinery, such as the hair. Activities that typically require this type of protection are construction of building repair, working in tunnels or excavation, or the operation of vehicle and machinery. These are some examples of head protection PPE, helmet, hot hat, bump cut, hairnet, among others. The second type is hand and arm protection. This PPE helps to prevent injuries in arms, hands, and fingers related to harm caused by heat, cold, vibrations, burns, abrasion, cuts by sharp objects, some risks related to bacteriological aspects, and also chemical contamination, as well as electric shock. Typical activities that are relevant to be used with uh, this type of PPE is outward, outdoor work in general, working with vibration apparatus, working in hot or very cold environments, also the handling of chemicals and hazardous substances, and the handling of abrasive and sharp objects. Examples include gauntlets, gloves, wrist cuffs or arm nets that help to prevent cuts in the arm. The third type is eye or face protection. The eyes are very susceptible to be harmed by different uh, objects, uh, different situations, and risks are related to chemical or metal splash, dust, projectiles, gas and vapor or radiation. Activities that can require this type of PPE, face protection, are working with lasers and power-driven tools, using gas or vapor under pressure, which is a very dangerous or can be a very dangerous activity, performing welding operations, or handling hazardous substances in general. Examples include safety glasses or goggles, eye and face shields, face screens, visors, or welding masks. The fourth type of PPE is respiratory or breathing protection. The activities include working in contact with a very large amount of gases, powders, dust, and vapors working in confined spaces without ventilation are also activities that can require this type of PPE. 
and the risk consensus that it helps to prevent our exposure and contact with gases, powders, dust, and also working in oxygen deficient atmospheres. These are some examples of this type of PPE. Breathing apparatus, air-fed helmet. Some helmets can be actually equipped with air feeding uh, implements, respirators, or protective hoods. The fifth type of PPE is hearing protection. It helps to prevent risks due to high levels of sound or noise, and it also helps to give a good level of hygiene and comfort to the user and the worker. Typical activities are working with noisy machinery or working in acoustic pollution environments, which is quite normal nowadays. These are some examples, earplugs, ear defenders, acoustic foams, or ear, ear mounts. The sixth type of PPE is related to foot and leg protection. It helps to prevent risks related to extreme temperatures, crushing, piercing, slipping, cutting of abrasion, chemicals, electricity hazards, or falling objects. Activities that may require these are construction activities, working in very cold or hot environments, working with chemicals, forestry, or the handling of heavy objects. Some examples include safety boots and shoes, gaiters, or footwear with toe caps. Special materials for footwear include antistatic, penetration resistant, electrically conductive or thermally insulating, among others. The seventh type is body protection. The risk here is weather conditions, when working outdoors, extreme temperatures again, entanglement, drowning, chemical contamination, etc., and also the impact or penetration of some objects on the body. This type of PPE is used to ensure the high visibility of users sometimes under certain circumstances. And these are some examples, like jacket, overalls that can cover part of, of the body or the whole body, high visibility clothing or boiler suits. Clothing can include special properties of special materials, such as flame retardant, antistatic, chemically impermeable, impermeable etc. The last type of BP is height or access protection. And here the risk is related to the difficulty or danger of access to certain environments or places. And also the risk of falling from high spaces or high levels. They are normally highly specialized, require some training on the, on the workers, and also they require inspection and maintenance. Here are some examples. Fall arrest systems that may include harnesses, energy absorbers, or rescue lifting. Here you can find further information. I have selected two uh, relevant um, websites one from the UK and the other one from the USA. The Health and Safety Executive in the UK, here you have the website, and also the Occupational Safety and Health Administration of the American government. So it is very important to know vocabulary related to health and safety and personal protective equipment or PPE. Depending on the situation and the working circumstances, different types of PPE may be required. Thank you very much and I hope you found this useful.